Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I have personally done one of these Bible meditation videos uh, with you, but uh, it's my privilege to do it again. We're going to go over 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. That's 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. It's our, our church's, Lighthouse Baptist Church's, personal memory verse for this month, and it goes like this. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now that's a great verse, and there's a lot of stuff we can unpack in, with that verse, uh, theologically and dispensationally, but I really just want to focus on a couple of things, just two things really, and that is, one, first of all, the term, in holy nation. Right now in our nation, we're going through a lot of... Uh, some people may say dark times, interesting times, whatever it may be, there's a lot of stuff going on in this world and we need to pray for our nation. And I know with the upcoming uh, elections and so forth, there, there's a lot of attention drawn to that. And I just wanna encourage you, uh, not just Lighthouse Baptist, but any uh, child of God that's watching this video today to not to forget your higher citizenship. Yes, it's important to be responsible. Yes, it's important to uh, exercise our rights as Americans to vote in the upcoming election and to pray for those that we are voting for and pray for those who are elected as our leaders in this nation. But let us not be so caught up in these things happening in our country right now that we neglect our higher duty and our higher citizenship as children of God, as his church, and as to go forth into this nation and impact it for Jesus Christ, to tell people about him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are in holy nation. We're chosen for a purpose. And that is to tell the people and tell this country and people around the world about what Jesus Christ has done for them. And if we're not careful, we can get caught up too much in politics that we forget our greater purpose. And that is us personally and taking our responsibility as Christians to go forth and tell people about Jesus Christ. Don't neglect that. Yes, exercise your rights as an American citizen, but do not forget and neglect your high citizenship and that is as a child of God as part of his church that's gonna have a far greater impact than uh, who is elected as our next leader guys the election is gonna come and it's gonna go but you still have your responsibility to be an impact and an influence on your local community and that's gonna have a far greater effect than who you vote for in November so don't neglect your responsibility don't put it all off on your elected officials as a Christian, be involved in your church. If you're not part of Lighthouse Baptist Church, be involved in your church wherever you're at, all right? And be an influence. Grow your sphere of influence of your church into your community, reaching others for Christ, telling them about, telling them about your great God who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's what I want to focus on with this verse today. That's our memory verse. Uh, and we chose it specifically before the coming election is, hey, Let's not forget our own duty as a holy nation, as children of God, to let other people know about what Jesus Christ has done for them. Once again, that is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a holy, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye may show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light.